In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this four pipe options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created these four pipes with the different color and I've put the option number one, two, three and four. So what happens is when I click, the option will extend and it will come out from the pipe and it will reveal the, the detailed text. Again, on my next click, it will show me the words the option two, the option three and option four likewise i have created one more slide where i've just put something like this so this is one two and three so depending on your requirement you can just choose the slide from and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010 then some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the circle hollow, draw the circle hollow depending on the requirement, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline, then align center, align middle. Now I'm going to cut this into two pieces. For that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, cover the half portion of the hollow circle something like this again for this also shape outline make it no outline i'm going to select the circle hollow first hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape you can make it subtract and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then go to rotate and flip horizontal and just attach it so again it looks like a one oval shape only so i'm going to select both of these press ctrl g to group it right mouse click go to format shape and go to the effects and here you can go to the 3d rotation and from the presets i'm going to choose maybe this one which is the off axis to right so it looks something like this all right then i'm just going to move it a little bit further and then go to insert shapes I'm going to select one rectangle, draw a rectangle, all right, maybe this much size, you can see here, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, you can give any different color and then I'm going to send this to back. So you can see here the unwanted area which is appearing here, I want to remove that one. You can see here this area, first of all, make sure that it is properly aligned all right so let me just make it somewhat down okay and if you want you can just go to somewhat bottom all right or till here also you can make it then what i'm going to do is simple so let me just select this okay now this is properly aligned now i'm going to add one oval shape okay draw the oval shape something like this the size of this one let me just make it somewhat transparent so you know exactly what i'm trying to do and i'm going to give some different color shape outline no outline and then i'm going to put it exactly like this okay you can see here all right so like this we need to just align it properly some time we need to spend all right and then once this is done okay i'm going to select this shape and hold the shift key select this shape and merge shape i'm going to subtract it so you can see here this much i have end up uh, with getting a uh, this shape something like this and if you want to edit it you can edit the points and you can see here there are certain points which we can align it properly all right so something like this and here also i can edit point and i can just align it properly that's it all right and then let me just give some uh, gradient fill for this select the gradient fill and i'm going to use two stops let me just remove this one stop i'm going to choose some dark color you can go to more colors standard and you can give any color of your choice and one color i'm going to give a lighter version of this color maybe this orange 
all right and then for these also these two i'm going to ungroup this okay let me just ungroup this and let me just put it back again you can see here exactly i need to put it like this let me just zoom in and i'm going to align it properly all right why i am doing that one i will tell you why i am doing this why i am separating this one why i am not keeping as one okay let me just select both of this and go to gradient fill and here i am going to give some lighter color maybe some you can see here some lighter color i have given move all right and let me just move this further here yeah okay so it looks something like this now let me just remove this guides and then if you want you can add some shadow effect also here go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and um, this also i'm going to select gradient fill gradient fill one place i'm going to make it black and the direction should be something like this and here i'm going to make it white you can see here but white make it fully transparent all right you can see here i made it transparent and i can reduce the size of this and this uh, black also i can make somewhat transparent okay so let me just align it properly and i'm going to place it in the center okay something like this let's align it properly okay so it looks the design something like this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert a rectangle draw a rectangle okay any color of your choice if you want you can make it uh, white also but let me just give a uh, could be yellow and then i'm going to select these two shapes okay you can see here this one as well as this one and bring to front so you can see here it looks something like this and this one let me just reduce the size so that it should look like it's coming out from the pipe all right and then the one which we have added uh, the shadow effect that also i'm going to bring it to front so it looks something like this when it comes out it looks like this it is coming out from the pipe you can see here and then what i'm going to do is let me just move the pipe here or oh, sorry the text here and the rectangle i'm going to add the text so i'm going to say text option 0 1 right align make it bold increase the size okay and then i'm going to insert text box add the detail text equals lorem within bracket one and unwanted text i'm going to delete it and i'm going to select and reduce the size make it right align and place it here and all of this i'm going to select and press ctrl g to group it and again bring this one here as usual we need to just send this to back you can see here like this and then i'm going to move this inside okay so our first design is ready so i'm just going to select this i can move it up i'm going to add the animation to this so select that one go to animations enable the animation plane close the format shape for this add animation go to more motion path scroll it down and i'm going to choose right and click ok and double click this one and increase the bounce and remove the smooth start timings you can make it maybe fast and click ok so if you see here if i play it comes something like this all right so now it's very easy for me i can just select all this option i can move it up if i want press ctrl d to duplicate second option and third option then i can just change this number to two and to three and if you want to change the color of this you can change it so let me just show you this is one two and three again if you want you can just select this one group it and bring the other side also